I had become a walking skeleton. I lost my hair. The only recognizable parts of my body were my nose and teeth. As a little boy, Muhammad Amin grew up in the Juma province of Ethiopia. His father was a local farmer. Muhammad looked after the cows and goats. His mother had been barren for years. She had made a vow to God that if he would bless her with a son, he would become his servant all the days of his life. So when he was born, his parents decided that he would not go to a regular school. Instead, he would study the Quran and become an Imam. As a teenager, he obtained a scholarship to study in Saudi Arabia. There, he learned Arabic and Quranic studies. In spite of his devotion, though, Muhammad says one thing always troubled him. Deep down in my heart, I realized that something was missing in my life, something important. My heart lacked peace. I was empty. Nine years later, fully trained as an Islamic scholar, Sheikh Mohammed Amin returned to his native Ethiopia. He began to teach the Quran in one of the largest mosques in Juma. A couple of years later, he left Ethiopia again, this time for further studies in Sudan. But within a year, Mohammed returned to Ethiopia. Mysteriously, his health had begun to fail very quickly. Previously, I had a lot of weight. However, I had become a walking skeleton. I lost my hair. The only recognizable parts of my body were my nose and teeth. The rest of my body was wasting away. His family took him to the hospital. But all attempts by doctors to heal him failed. I was struck with painful boils and sores from the soles of my feet to the top of my head. I was in terrible pain. For years, Muhammad Amin had kept a secret. He slept around and patronized prostitutes. Even though he was publicly respected as a religious teacher, he says, Privately, I was the worst of sinners. As Sheikh Muhammad lay dying of AIDS in the hospital, his family began preparing for his funeral. As far as they and the doctors were concerned, he had only a little time to live. But it was at that point that something miraculous happened. Late one night, I had a vision. The hospital room glowed with a bright light. Jesus, dressed as a doctor, came into my room and stood by my bed. He looked at me with love and affection and said, Muhammad, rise up. Being a Muslim, I was confused. I began to say to myself, how can I get up when there is no strength in me? But Jesus seemed to know what I was thinking. He came closer and began to touch my sick body. He took my hand and sat on my bed. I cannot fully explain the feelings. I was filled with joy, peace, and happiness. At that point, Muhammad says he believed he was healed. More importantly, he no longer believes Jesus is just a prophet. Instead, he says, Now, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I have also decided to follow him. Muhammad Amin had been bedridden for four months and 25 days. He says barely a week after Jesus appeared to him, he began to walk again. But that is not all. Previous AIDS tests had shown that he had full-blown AIDS. Amazingly, new tests now show that Muhammad is no longer HIV positive. Miraculously, Sheikh Muhammad Amin has been healed of AIDS. <laughs> now a full-time evangelist, he shares the love of Jesus and the miraculous story of his healing from AIDS in villages, towns, and churches all over Ethiopia. Hallelujah! 
If Jesus had not come to my bed in that hospital and touched my body and my soul, first, I would have lost everlasting life. Secondly, I would have suffered for eternity. But he gave me physical healing, everlasting life, and peace that passes all understanding.